appearance of another Kenyan from Washington State, Henry Rono, brings the huge crowd to seat edge. Now here's James Mignola, the defending champion. His face shows the strain of a tough challenge. The race is the 3,000-meter steeplechase, and of course, Rono is the odds-on favorite, having set the world record just three weeks earlier. Rono has raised the crowd's anticipation to the stratosphere. In the qualifying heats, he shattered the meet record set by Mignola in 1976. Also, Rono has broken Steve Prefontaine's meet record in the 5,000. However, both marks were considerably short of the world records, which Rono, not surprisingly, also holds. But by way of excuse, he did this day's running on a sore foot. That sore foot kept Rono from attempting a distance triple. He had planned to run the 10,000 meter the night before and the 5,000 later this afternoon. He reluctantly decided to skip the 10,000 this time out. Such is Rono's strength and endurance that there is no sign that his ailing foot has slowed him down in this race. And Rono doesn't disappoint the enthusiastic crowd. His winning time is short of his world record, but he does shave an additional six seconds off the mark he set in the heats. Even more records are set to fall in the triple jump, where defending champion heat of the 3,000 meter steeplechase. This is the very extraordinary Henry Rono of Kenya, the current world record holder for this event, which stands at 8 minutes 5.4. He really has a lead of over 100 meters, and the rest of them fighting for the first five places, plus the two fastest leads, losers look as though they're in another race. That other race is being led by Ian Gilmore of Scotland from uh, Tony Stainings of England, and then Ewan Robertson of New Zealand, but this man is laying on a demonstration of most extraordinary running. He's already seen his fellow countryman, Kipnatich Rono, same name, no relation, win the first heat in 8.31, so there's bound to be two Ronos in the final. A lap and a half to go. This is a, a course with the water jump on the outside, so it's difficult to estimate his potential time, but he looks as though he's running around about 8.22, something like that leaping easily the 12 foot water jump a race of seven and a half laps 28 hurdles seven water jumps one more barrier there's tony stainings moved into uh, second place but 277 henry rono of kenya the current world record holder for the 3000 meters steeplechase the 3000 meters flat the 5000 meters and the 10,000 meters all set within the space of two months this year set his steeplechase record on May the 13th, that world record, the 26-year-old Kenyan at Washington State University in America. And this has uh, vastly entertained the crowd that have stayed, and it's going to be a fast time. There he is sprinting between the hurdles, using this as a training session, although he's in the final of the 3,000-meter steeplechase, plus the 5,000 meters. So 200 meters to go. Just over that, his final water jump. The water jump, which proved uh, a bit of a tricky barrier to fellow countryman Kipnatich Rono, had a bit of a stumble at it, but here he is launching himself down the straight. 8.10, 8.11, it'll be about 8.25, easily clearing that final hurdle. Tony Stainings way, way back, but ahead of the rest of the batch in second place. The clock stopping there, 8.26.19. And now battling away for the first five in each of these two heats. Tony Stainings for England, 25-year-old, who was 11th in the Olympics, coming safely in from Ewan Robertson of New Zealand and Ian Gilmore of Scotland. They're bound to qualify, and John Wilde, too, will make the fifth that qualifies. 8.20s. Henry Rono, of course, will take on Brendan Foster in the 5,000 meters later on in the week. That's Stadings going through the picture. John Davis not having too happy a ride to Silver Medalist four years ago. So Henry Rono out by himself. He's begun to break away from Kipritic Rono. Munyala is third, Robertson fourth. 
Healy five, and Dennis Coates having a really terrible time back in sixth place. He's really losing ground. Three laps left.